welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Metal Marty Mac back with another short video. Uh, this time we're doing an unboxing. As you've probably seen, the thumbnail um, Nuclear Blast have released a, a box set of Epica, uh, Dutch uh, symphonic uh, power metal, symphonic, whatever you want to call them, uh, band. Fantastic band. Absolutely loved them. They're an amazing band. I had the pleasure of seeing them live a couple of years ago and savage, savage. So, yeah, so Nuclear Blast released this uh, box set. It's called We, Will, we, Still, we Still Take You With Us. I think I wrote the wrong name on the thumbnail, but fuck it. So this is the early years of Epica. So this is Epica from 2003 to 2006. Still say you just arrived today. So uh, so this is a five LP set. So um, you've got, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to take the Phantom Agony. Uh, next up we have the studio, live studio, We Will Take You With Us, which I have on uh, DVD I watched recently. It was, it's a fucking class studio. Thing. Uh, then we have what's that album called Consigned to Oblivion and uh, then we have uh, The Score is it The Score 2.0 The Score which is a soundtrack for a Dutch movie Joyride and then we have uh, Epic Alive in 2006 uh, live at the Paradiso in Amsterdam so uh, yeah so I'm going to quickly unbox and show you what's in this uh, so I'll just quickly take off the plastic yeah so Epica fantastic band I love Epica uh, one of my favourite uh, symphonic uh, metal bands, if not my favourite, and then my Nightwish. So uh, yeah, so I didn't know this was coming out. Seeing this on Amazon recently, and it went down to about 112, 112 euros. Worked out about 117 euros for the five albums, which is fantastic. Now I do have two of the records already in my collection. Uh, the two studio records that's in this Phantom Agony and Consigned to Oblivion. But um, I want. I'm fed up missing out on box sets, so I said the hell with it. I'm going to buy it. Uh, I've released. Uh, Live at the Paradiso on vinyl, but it's like fifty euros on on um on Amazon at the moment, nearly nearly fifty euros, which is fucking ridiculous. So I said I might as well buy the box set. I can move the other two um editions on if there's if they're any different quality or different look or or just hold on to them, whichever. So uh, so I said yeah, fuck, I'm gonna buy the box set, especially one record's fifty quid. Might as well buy the whole the whole five LP. So there's eleven LPs in this set altogether. Some of them are three record sets and there's two record sets. So it's it's pretty hefty. But it's nice, it's one of those, I'm going to show you now, so it's one of those, I haven't seen what's in, what it's like inside, so it's one of those hard card lids, picture of Simone on the front of it, very nice, nice box set, so that's cool, so that's the front of that, so okay, up first we have on this, uh, the print on this actually looks a bit, it doesn't look great compared to the other one I have, I don't think, so this is on Nuclear Blast 2022, this, I think this originally came out on the uh, Transmission Records, some of the first stuff did so yeah so first up amazing debut album if you haven't heard it it's fantastic so this is the phantom agony it's on double vinyl i think the transmission one is it's a repress that i have as well of that so uh, it comes out on that as well these are all black vinyl i know i think it was available on different different colors of vinyl as well but um i just went for the black so uh, that's it epic label in the middle so that's a double album so that's the phantom agony the first album from 2003 uh, a bit of a different lineup uh, back then, but uh, Simone, Mark Janssen, or the main guys, Mark Janssen from After Forever, uh, wasn't even another band that he played with. Shit, it's got an kind of Aztec name. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, great guitar player, great songwriter, and Simone's a fantastic vocalist. So, yeah, Phantom Agony, first album in it. Happy days, very happy with that. I love that album. Okay, up next, we have from 2004, uh, We Will Take You With Us, two, two meter. Sessies, Sessies, I don't know, it's Dutch. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I have this on, there's pictures inside actually, I have this on DVD and CD already. It was bought years ago, probably 2007 or 8, 2007 or 6, 7, whatever. But anyway, there's photographs of the live studio uh, performance. The quality is amazing, there's full orchestra, full choir. Actually, uh, someone we know, there's backing vocals on this in the choir. Uh, what's her name, Amanda Somerville? You know from play, working with Michael Kisk on a few albums, so uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, she's bonded as well. But it's fantastic quality. Check out the videos on on YouTube if you've never heard it. So that's we will take you with us. Uh, the studio, studio recordings on live in front of people. It's just in the studio. And it's just, just fantastic. Absolutely sounds amazing. So that's nice. I'm really delighted to get that now. That was one I didn't have. So that's pretty cool to get. We'll take you with us. So it's all stuff from um. What's it face? The Phantom Agony, and there's one or two covers on this. Uh, it's covery from Cat's Memory, you know, that song Memory, I'm not going to sing it. And there's one or two demos on this as well that weren't 
available on the they weren't on the DVD. So yeah, yeah, that's the second one out of the box set. Very cool. Delighted to get this. Next is uh, consigned to Oblivion. This is Epic, the second studio album. Another fantastic album. Um once again nuclear blast obviously the whole set is nuclear blast. These are all gateful I'm, I'm assuming. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is a great album. This is the one with solitary ground on it, blank infinity, quietus, uh Consigned to Oblivion itself, Dance of Fate, Fracking Savage. So yeah, the, the fourth side has some orchestral versions and remixes of some of the tracks on it. So um, yeah, I'm not going to do it again, I am. Might as well. Uh, so this is on black as well. So that's just the labels inside. Nice job. This is, this is a really nice box set. There doesn't seem to be anything but the records in it. But 112 euros, I think it's at now. Five albums. It's just over 20 quid in a record. And uh, some of these haven't been released on vinyl before. So pretty cool to get. So, okay, after that, we are on record four already. So let me just pop this out. I don't know what way these records are in it. They're a bit tight. So, record four is the score an epic journey. So this is a this is a double vinyl two. So what this basically is is mostly be most of it's instrumental. I think there might be like three tracks on it. I have heard this, I've never actually had a physical copy of it. Yeah, there's about three tracks with vocals on it, but most if you're into big fucking extra uh, big broad sound and uh, classical tv mu movies kind of soundtracks this is this is great it's all symphonic orchestral stuff like you know uh, it's really really good it's a good listen it's just nice to put on and just do other stuff or just chill listen to it but it's really good quality but i to get that and i can't wait to hear that again it's been years since i heard it so that was 2005 this one let me just see yeah so it's uh the score an epic journey so highly talented Epic out of the compositions of their stuff, the orchestral stuff, and it's just, just, just savage. And I have to say again, they're fucking absolutely amazing live, brilliant band live, absolutely brilliant. So, uh, yeah, so that is the score. It is the score, I thought it was the score 2.0 because I know they attempted a re release of it, but it's not it. Okay, that's that. And the last album, this is the one, this is three, three record album. Let me just show you the box set before we go. That's it, there's nothing, there's nothing in it, there's no book with it or anything. But for, uh, as I say, for 112 quid, I wasn't expecting big tons of shit in it. But as I say, this is the early rares, this is the first box that came out. There's obviously going to be a whole series of them. And I didn't want to miss out on any of these, because I love Epica. So, uh, yeah, so the last one, sorry, Live at Paradiso, Amsterdam. Um, this this record is nearly 50 euros on Amazon at the moment, so I thought, like, fuck that, why would you not buy the box set? I'm just trying to see how this opens before I open the two for you. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be awkward because it's one of those tri trifold trifold. So I've just got loads of concert pictures, and we're gonna try to do it without killing the records. Uh, yeah, I hope you can see that. It's it's awkward enough to see, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'll have a good look at it now when I finish the video. Uh, great, can't wait to hear this live. I've watched a few videos. I actually get up. I actually bought it. I came yesterday on cassette a uh, cassette on cd and blu-ray as well the only reason i bought this was because i wanted the blu-ray of the concert as well so i ended up buying the cd box set as well so yeah you can see i do like epica so uh this is great this is all stuff from obviously the first two albums uh great crystal mountains on this there couldn't be a dead song is it um i don't know I'll have to find out. But yeah, this is the expensive one at the moment. So, um, Epic Live at the Paradiso 2006. Um, I know not everybody's into symphonic metal, but I do. I'm a big, big um, movie soundtrack guy. I love classical music as well. So this, these, this, these are just right up my street. Yeah, they can be, when they want to be heavy, these are heavy. Believe me, I've seen them, as I said, live. They're fucking heavy. Uh, fantastic stuff though. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the next box set. Um, I really don't want to miss out any more box sets, so hopefully this Celtic Frost one's coming out soon, like he was showing. So yeah, consigned to Oblivion. Uh, just trying to get them out there, a bit of a stretch. Uh, we will take you with us. Looking forward to see how that sounds. And last but very not least, the first album, brilliant debut album. Phantom Agony, Sensorium, Cry for the Moon, uh, Facade of Reality, or whatever you want to say, Faint, Run for a Fall, Phantom Agony itself. Savage album, 
Excellent. Very cool. So um, so that kit, that's that's it. That kit. That's it, guys. That's what's in that box set. There's no books. There's no stickers. There's no posters. No boy shit at all. It's just, it's just as you've seen there. But it is. It's nice. It's heavy. Came in perfect condition. So that's one of the plus sides of it. But uh, yeah, cool. Epica. Uh, we will we will take you. We still take you with us. As I say, the thumbnail's wrong, but fuck the thumbnail. Uh, the early years. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so that's it. That's that box set. Just wanted to open when we open it this evening. I just want to put it on a video might as well. Uh, I didn't bother opening what the vibe odd one on video it's up there because I know a lot of the lads did it and they were great videos. So there was no really much point in me doing that. Uh, that's it, guys. I also received a VCL. See, sorry, my phone's going. I also received a VCLT today from our, our good friend Kim in Denmark. Uh, this is music channel, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it done tonight or not. But uh, Kim, I'll definitely have it done by tomorrow evening for you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to opening this because I haven't opened it yet. Obviously, I'm going to do it in video. So uh, yeah, cheers for that, Kim. I was not expecting that, but um, fair play, brother. I'm really delighted. I'm really excited to open it. So yeah. Uh, that's it guys, I hope I kept that short and sweet. Um, I'll see you all soon for uh, Kim's unboxing of Kim's VCLT. Cheers, have a good evening, uh, take care, good luck.